Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul and it is a fabulous haul today. First of all, I'm having some hot tea in my black cat cup. It's delicious. I believe it's um, from Ireland, Barry's tea from Ireland. I love it. Mm. And I tend to drink a lot of tea come winter time too. So I've got a lot of stuff here, so we are gonna get right to it. But I wanna say hello to Molly. Molly, I met you today at the Dollar Tree and you are wonderful, I loved it. Thank you so much for saying hi. I really enjoyed it. And secondly, we have my squeezy, squeezy kitty, Alex. He's lost three, two, two ounces. I know, he's wasting away. But he's doing good from his surgery. All right, let's get started. We're going to get into some household stuff first. Um, I got this really pretty, like a Robin's Egg Blue nail polish to try. I want to do my toes that color. I went through my old nail polish and I purged so much old sticky goopy nail polish. So now I can just get some newer colors. Um, so I do poked me I do enjoy this color I like this nail polish a lot it does really well on my toes so it's like a robin's egg or a baby blue so I grabbed that I picked up a stylist I don't think this is a real pen is it no yes it is it's a ballpoint pen and stylus so I got this because I'm going back to the office soon and I decided when we go to the copier, it's a communal area. I'll just use this to get my prints instead of using my hands. I don't know. I'm just a little nervous about the Delta variant and the stylus will work on that. And FYI, it also should work on like if you're at shopping and cash registers and you use a card, this should work to put your number in, say yes or no. And that way you're not touching things because I'm just not sure if everybody is cleaning like they were. Um, I grabbed some of these self laminating sheets. I like to have these on hand um, just for lots of things, pictures, documents, scrapbooking for my planner. They're just good to have in there. Uh, what size are they? I think they're like a four by six. I believe it doesn't say, but I think they were like a four by six. And you get three sheets and you don't need a machine. So they're self laminating, which is great. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, food wise, I grabbed some Nori paper. I love this stuff. There's like hardly any carbs. It's like one, it's seaweed, sunflower oil, and salt. I love Nori. Um, this is what is wrapped around sushi. If you didn't already know. So I grabbed a pack of that. Um, some of this is just householdy stuff. I got a pack of carabiners. This is great when I store my biking stuff in the garage. I can hang my helmets from here and then hang them on a hook. And I do have two helmets. So I grabbed that. Um, some toothpaste, toothbrush covers. I was going to go, I'm going to be going backpacking this later this summer. And these are great to put in my backpack just to keep the dirt and grime off my toothbrush. Because at home I use an electric toothbrush, but when I backpack and stuff, I don't. And when I travel, I don't take it. Um, I got a, a new pack of these face scrubbers, but I actually use these in the cup holder in my car. Any coffee that spills or cups that sweat, this catches it because it is terry cloth and foamy. So I put the scrap, the abrasive side down and I leave the terry side up and these ex fit exactly in my cup holder. Fun hack for you. And you get three of them. You can use one to wash with, but the um, they just do a great job of keeping the inside of those little cup holders clean. I should put some in my back seat too, so I might need to get a second pack because I have a thingy that slides down. I found this, which is very very boho it's um like i can't remember the name of what it's called but i think this is pretty it's gonna go on my shelf above my chair it may go on my mantle i don't know but it feels very bohemian to me and i like it it's a bank i won't use it as a bank you won't know it's a bank but they had them in this color 
and blue. And then the last thing I picked up, I just really got to show you guys, are these bubble, what are they calling them? Bubble snap. And apparently these are like all the rage with the young kids. They're like the new fidget spinners. But I've also seen people make chocolates with them and they put M&Ms in the holes, but you literally just pop the holes in and out. I don't understand, but the kids love them and I wanted to show you that they had them. Um, they had squares, circles, I think they had a dinosaur, they had a um, unicorn, and then some other shapes. And you just push these in and then you pop them out. And apparently the kids love them. So I saw them and I said, I need to show these to my friends. And then you pop them out. Now, if you want to make chocolate, you just melt chocolate to temper. You can put anything in here you want, pour it, it's silicone, and then you can pop your chocolate out and you would get little bars. That's what I saw on the TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. That's my, should be my new tagline. I've been buying a lot of stuff from TikTok. Um, we'll do the clothing stuff next. Hi, Alex. You're just hanging out here with me today. Yeah, buddy. Um, well, first off, I got, well, Christmas gifts for packages, these uh, nail files. So the company is Diamond Nail. These are great. I've had them before, and I think these are fun. They had all different patterns, just fun little three packs of nail files. Um, a lot of the, the girls that I buy for, we are all like nails and nail polish, so I may get like one of these and then some OPI nail polish or some cuticle cream or some hand cream. It's a great like office gift for the women if you notice that they like to wear nail polish and this is a nice fun little thing. Or, and I'll, I'll, it's going to circle back. When I was at my Dollar Tree today, I went to two different ones just to grab a few more things. I was pleasantly shocked to find Gold Toe brand socks. These are name brand guys, and these are not cheap. This, these, this pair here, they're called cabin socks. They're men's, I don't know how much these were because this price tag is covered. But I like them in the winter time just to wear around the house. I don't know how much they are regularly, but you get two pair. They're super thick. So you could wear them, or their lodge collection. Um, but I believe they are like cabin socks. Uh, shoe size 6 to 12 and a half, wash before wear. 219 Gildan brand apparel gold toe. Um... These are so thick, but they are so comfortable to wear around the house when it's cold and you just want to throw some socks on. I love these and I don't care that they're men's. So I grabbed those for me. And then I found these, which I think are the sweetest, most adorable little socks. Just a pair with bumblebees. And I did see the price on these and these are $7 a pair, regular price um, for the gold toe brand. You get one pair in here and I love them. So I grabbed that pair. And then I found this pair of purple. Well, look at the little lace detail around the cuff. Like uh, these are gonna be great for winter, especially with like little ankle boots. And they're nice and thin. And these also were $7 or $7.99. I only can see the seven. So I grabbed a pair in purple for me. And then I grabbed this two pack and I'm not 100% sure what this is gonna be Christmas gifts or what, but you get two pair and these are pretty thick winter socks and you get a plain pair of black. These are the women fashion socks and they have like the snow design on them. And I'm thinking like for your mistletoes, get it, mistletoes? Um, and then some nail polish and maybe, you know, some hand cream or some foot cream. Like this is a fun little gift for somebody like on top of, uh, for my sister-in-law, let's just say. I could give her this with the nail files and some moisturizer to go along with her other gifts, you know, but this is a fun thing. Some chocolate. I love it, guys. Let's do our thumbnail. I love it. 
Um, so I got two packs of those because that's all they had in this. And these were probably from like a Christmas collection. Yeah, they are because they have the two from tags on them. A dollar. And then I picked up a pair of white ankle socks just to have, you know, wear with jeans or whatever. I need to get rid of a bunch of socks. So I thought the perfect time. And then I grabbed these knee socks. Not for me, I don't wear knee socks typically. Uh, but you get like a pink sparkly pair. And then this beige pair. And I think I need to talk to my cousin. She works overnight and I'm pretty sure she wears knee socks every day to stay warm when she's at the hospital at night because it's cold in there. Although this pair does not feel very comfortable. Also, I could use these to make gnome hats, not gonna lie, but it feels like a waste to cut up perfectly good dollar gold, uh, golden socks. And these were regularly $14 for these two pair. And then the last pair they had, which is in the extended size. So this is size eight to 13. So these are an extended size. This pair here was regularly $9 or three pair for 24. It's a navy blue. Um, I don't know. I have pretty thick calves from a lot of exercising and stuff. So I'm not sure if they would fit me, but again, fantastic stocking stuffers for people in your life who like socks. I like socks. I like getting gifts. But I love pairing like cozy socks and nail files and nail polish and the hand lotion and foot creams and all that kind of stuff together. I think it's fun. Then I bought, this is a size four extra large tall tank top. Um, AKA, this is gonna be a new nightshirt. Like what? It's super long. It's a tank top. It's a men's. It's huge. Look at these armpits. I just think it'll be super fun for like a night shirt, you know, on those warm nights. And for one dollar, I'll sleep in that. So I grabbed it mostly to show you the funness that that is. So that, my gosh, guys, I got one, two, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pair of gold toe socks for six dollars like that's crazy heck i would even donate these if then if i don't have anybody that wants the knee socks i'll donate them save them you know donate them let people enjoy them who need socks you know so there's that now i got a bunch oh one more householdy thing i grabbed one of these which is a salad dressing Holder, but I actually got it to put honey in when I go backpacking for my tea. So I figure I'll put some honey. I don't typically eat honey as a regular diet because I am diabetic and keto, but when I'm out, and I've said this millions of times, when I'm out exercising, if I'm backpacking and hiking, sometimes I need a little bit of sugar. So having some honey, a couple tablespoons in here, have a hot cup of tea, because we're gonna go maybe late summer, early fall. That would be a perfect vessel to put some honey in for travel. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, it's food grade because it's for salad dressing. Duh. So I grabbed one of those. I love them. I have, I have other ones, but they are used for salad dressing. And I was like, let's just get a fresh one for our honey, shall we? Let's. And then I grabbed another True Lemon because I love it. And then I got some roasted garlic and herb. This is also for backpacking. Guys, there is a fold-up spork in the top of this package. So here is where your tuna package is. And up here, there's a spork. It even says spork included. So when I go backpack and I can have that for lunch, I will eat it dry, but I also have a small pack of mayonnaise I can squeeze in there. I miss the days when like, at Target, they had the cafeteria thingy and they would have all their condiments out and I would kind of snatch a mayonnaise or a mustard or something to take with me when I go backpacking, but now they don't have it out there anymore. But so yeah, and this is just garlic, uh, bumblebee brand roasted garlic and herb. Delish. And these are good for a very long time. I mean, 
I don't even know. Wait, here it is. March of 2023 is the best buy date. I'm not sure what the shelf life is, which we all know are different, right? All right, so got that. Sorry. Now on to some crafty bits. I saw on TikTok and I saw on Pinterest where we're using these for multiple things. One of the folks took one of these, put water, painted it, put water down here and used it to start plants. I put cut plants down in there. I'm assuming that means it's water tight, but I don't know. The cool thing is it just slides off of its suction cup. So you could cover the back in the magnet, put it on your refrigerator, use it for pens. You could, um, what I'm going to do is attach it to a DIY, put foam down here and some fake flowers. So I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing one color. You'll have to watch to see what I do. But I did pick up three of them because I wasn't sure how many how many I would need. So I just grabbed three. Um, but you can also just leave the mag, the suction cuppy on the back. It just slides in. And then suction cup it to something, you know, put it in your shower. You can put razors in there, whatever. But I'm going to use it for a DIY. So I grabbed three of that because that is exciting friends um we're gonna kind of mix all of our holidays like i do you know following giving i grabbed this and it says journaling cards i'm gonna open it up because i'm so confused on what this is i mean it, i guess it's just scrapbook paper but it's it's thick I thought it was stickers at first, but it's not. I mean, it's just, I guess you can cut these shapes out. I mean, it's fun for sure, but you could also use it as like a scrapbooking page. Like these, I would totally cut out, but some of that like this, I'm not sure. I don't know what it, it's supposed to be. Cause it just says on here, journaling cards. The green briar but this is the first like cricket scrapbooking type stuff i'm seeing at my store i have yet to see any of the cricket supplies I'll throw that away come through but this was fun and if you want to fussy cut some things out you certainly can or you can you know cut around it and then glue it onto paper or you could just put pictures on top of this i don't know we'll find a use for it we are thrifty like that we will find a use for it i found and i grabbed these are just plain lights there's no shape to them they're just like an led christmas light in orange and purple for halloween they are battery operated and i love them and i think they will be fun on my mantle i'll show you there's no these are definitely not shaped these are just like your christmas lights you can see here the the little tip and they'll just glow purple and orange and so i will put these on the mantle time for halloween i feel like i also have if i can find it in my garage and my halloween stuff some other things but i grabbed those two because i think that will be fun to decorate with I did grab just a thing of green for fall, just some green ribbon to make bows or something. I don't know. I liked the color of that. Um, just for basic crafting and I think for some DIYs, I grabbed some of these wood planks. I don't know if I'm gonna paint them or use them as backing to like hold things up. I just thought these are handy to have. And I would love to be able to split them down the middle and utilize them to stabilize some stand-up things in the back. But for a dollar, you get six planks. And I think that's fantastic. And I hadn't seen them at my store for a super long time. A comment below if you've seen them. My store has not had them, any of my stores. On the wooden front, I picked up this maple leaf because I think it's adorable, one. And two, one day I'm going to Canada for my cross-stitching retreat, I hope, and I wanna paint it red. 
and do the welcome in white and then paint the little leaves. I know they're fall. I could also maybe try to pop the fall leaves off and just make it on my door like welcome. I'm in Canada and I have a maple leaf. I think this is a maple leaf. I'm gonna say it's a maple leaf. It just says the corp. I'm gonna call this a maple leaf and I'm gonna paint it red and white and then whatever colors I decide. So I grabbed that. That is fun, guys. That is fun. There is lots of, a lot of fun to be had at the Dollar Tree. Um, I was looking in the card section and I buy these cards because I love it. It just says it must be Halloween. On the inside, it says, happy thoughts of you keep creeping up on me. Aww. But I love the card and I want to find a way to maybe mount it on a piece of wood or decoupage or frame and put this out for Halloween time because I love it and I think it's, it's just kind of my aesthetic. Instead of like spooky boo, I like this type of thing. And this was a dollar, it wasn't part of the two for a dollar. And also look in the fall section because they have fun stuff too for cards. Um, I found another one of these, sorry, owls to paint. He has a little hat. This is more of a Thanksgiving or with, with the fall stuff opposed to the sugar skull one that I got. But he's gonna get painted or she i don't i don't know but i love it look at the little feet all the details this is gonna be adorable and i definitely oh oh i didn't realize his little side feathers are they look like leaves to me what oh some stuff just came out of it hello hello no nothing in there but I grabbed one of those that needs to get painted and sealed up. Itch in my nose. Oh, for another DIY, I found him. Now, first of all, let's look at this ridiculousness of how off center that is. It doesn't make a difference to me because I'm pulling the cat head off. So, um, it's just cardboard. So what I'll do is take the back off and then pop this. Oh, I, I don't need to do that. It's off. Um, it's just a cat head and I want to paint it black really good and then some other things to it and put it on another DIY that I have going on in my in my head. And I might just paint the back because then I could just do several coats. I'd have to sand that little mess down or paint the front black. Um, it just says cat kisses fix everything, which is true. That is a true statement, but that is not what I'm using that for. But I wanted the cat shape. It, I found it odd, different that this is cardboard when everything else has been woody, but whatever. Um, and then I'll use this for something else. I'll just pull, get that off there. But this is for a specific DIY, which is why I purchased that. Okay, okay, we got more, we got some more. Um, for my DIY that I'm gonna be doing, I found this like little flower pick and it just has, you know, the black and purple, which I like for Halloween and the skull. I mean, this is probably as spooky as I will get. Um, and I might choose to use a different floral. I just grabbed this because I thought it was appropriate, but I might find something different, we'll have to see. But this is gonna go into a DIY, the same DIY with the cat head and the pencil holder. I know. So if you want to do this with me, get some of this stuff. Um, I like this, flo this flower arrangement, but I may go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can't find something a little different. We'll see. I definitely wanted to go with the purple and maybe like purple and orange flower together. I don't know, but that came, it was fine. It's fine, it's all fine, everything's fine. And also to go with that, I grabbed some purple spiders. I just wish we could stop putting glitter on absolutely everything, and I'm a glitter girl, trust me, but sometimes I just don't want glitter. But I might like spray paint over 
this so that it's not so glittery, but we'll see. So I have those, which are fine. And these are on little um, clips. So you can attach them to all kinds of things. Most likely I will pull them off the clips and hot glue them down, but you can just attach these to flower arrangements or whatever. So I grabbed those again for that same project. Then I saw this fun little cup. I don't know, I liked the lid for Halloween. Maybe fill it up with some eyeballs or something or something, I don't know. These are fun little jars. I don't know if the lid is working on this one. There we go. Um, they're fun little jars. They have the copper ones out for fall. They have these. There's all kinds of crafty business you can do with them. Maybe even fill them with some candy for a special somebody and drop it off at their house. I mean, that is definitely something. I want to see something here, though. Please tell me they did not stick. this label all here like a sticker. What? They sure did. That's a sticker on there. Why? Why? How am I gonna? Okay, it is a removable sticker, but still, why? Do you want me to craft with this thing? Okay, I fixed it. Please don't worry. Oh, my camp, my battery's getting low. Please don't worry, I, I fixed it. There we go. Oh yeah, that will be totally cute. Fill it up with some candy corn or some gumballs or something. Put a nice little tag on it and give it to your neighbor. That would be the cutest little like Halloween treat for somebody, you know, because everybody likes Halloween. Or maybe there's some little ones in your neighborhood or an older neighbor that you'd like to visit. You can bring them a little something. I think that's adorable. I'm going to do that. That's a good idea that you guys had. Um, I also grabbed one more of these because I'm obsessed with the pumpkin spice latte sticker right there. You can't really see them good, but it's the gnome with his little coffee. I mean, please, I need these in my life, right? And that one with the coffee. Oh. I grabbed one more because I did happen to rip one of the stickers apart, just so you know, I'm trying to take it apart. Oh, I gotta stop talking so much. I grabbed one of these. It's just a little hanging pillow. I loved the colors and I'm almost like thinking there's so much of this blue and green out this year. Am I going wrong with a purple? I don't know. We'll make a decision, but they had these cute little pillows and they're adorable hanging on a doorknob. You can take the string down and just stick it in your tear tray, put it in a basket. They're adorable. And they had all different prints, but this is the one that I liked. And it just says happy harvest. So it's non, it's just fall. It's non like Thanksgiving. So I grabbed that. Okay, now, oh, one more thing. I found the yellow pumpkin in the color that I like with my initial on it. And I I don't have to do anything to that. Nothing. Just spray paint a, a purple pumpkin that's larger and sit it next to it. So I'm doing that because I love this color. This is the color that I love. This like golden orangey yellow with my initial. So I grabbed that because what do I need more pumpkins? No, I sure don't. Okay, are you ready? Are you sitting down? I've got two things. Number one. Happy fall, y'all. Isn't that adorable? I'm loving this color too. Again with the glitter Dollar Tree. Again with the glitter. Um, this probably is gonna go out front on my front porch by my front door for fall. I don't care if it gets ruined. There's already, um, well, I don't, I think, I thought it was the glitter coming off, but I think there's like paper from when it was packaged, stuck to the glitter. Yeah, that's what it is. There's some like spots and I was like, what is that? It's tissue paper stuck to it. So I found this at my store, it's pretty large. It would be beautiful on it. I just, I'm gonna put it outside on my front porch with some pumpkins underneath it. 
but I love that color right there. Oh, I'm obsessed. And you're going to see why and how I'm obsessed I am. For somebody who that's not even in my decor colors this year, maybe. This is definitely a new product. The Metal Thankful. In that color that I absolutely love. Oh, it gets better. Grateful. So we're thankful, we're grateful, and we're blessed. Guys, look at those colors. And I think I'm gonna set them up like on stands on my mantle. And this is what I'm saying. I might have to go with this color and not my purple. Maybe I'll do the purple for Halloween. Or maybe I'll just have all the colors. I don't know, but thankful grateful and blessed what the heck what these are fantastic fantastic i love the detail and the paint like there is nothing that we need to do with this and i oh, well okay i'm gonna replace that with something better okay so that but i love that they didn't drill holes in them that they're stapled on so if you want to take them off you don't have holes randomly like sit this up with a stand and just, or lean it on the wall under, you know, I just think this is gonna be, this is, these are gonna go on my mantle. So I guess my colors now are gonna be this, like that yellow, purple, and then all these colors. I don't know, guys, I'm crazy. There's too many beautiful things, there's so many. All right, guys, that is everything I found this week at my three dollar trees i hope you guys are finding fabulous stuff too i have heard that there might be some fun halloween stickers coming out like those fall ones that i found people are on the hunt for those fall stickers i should have bought more but i didn't and i'm sorry but if i find well i did i guess i lie i bought one more of this one but i didn't buy any of the other ones because i couldn't read what they said it doesn't matter they're pretty i know all right guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you saw something that I found that will help you in your search at the Dollar Tree and you have a fantastic day. Talk to you later.